Are you expecting something? Expectation brings realization. Say it aloud. Say it for yourself. Now say it for your neighbor there. It has come. Let's pray together, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we glorify your name. We know that you are a mighty God. You have not changed. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And whatever you have done in other people's lives, we know you are going to repeat it in every life. We come to you right now. And we are asking, Lord, you manifest your power in everyone's life in Jesus' name. Blind eyes to open. Lame legs to be strengthened. Goiter to vanish away. Joblessness to vanish away. And Lord, I pray the expectation of your people will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. We well, thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Thank you very much. You can sit down. We're looking at Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. It says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run. They shall not be weary. They shall walk they shall not faint. The time of weariness ascended for you. At the time of fainting, the time of falling, at the time of discouragement, it has gone in Jesus' name. Many times when you come for a program like this, you feel excited, you're lifted up. It's like Something great has happened for that weekend. And then after that, many people, they go back to square one where they were before. But this time, it's not up and then down, up permanently. That's why I want to talk to you on the life of a soaring eagle. The life. Of a soaring eagle. Not just a period of soaring. It is not just a short time of getting up and mounting up. But a lifetime. That what the Lord begins today. It continues and continues and continues. For a lifetime of soaring and mounting up. Let me come back to this verse again. It says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. You renew your strength. All the strength that heaven has for you will be restored in your life in Jesus' name. A renewal, a resurrection, a transformation. It will take place in your life. Because they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Many people do not understand mounting up, rising up, flying beyond your problems. What this means is for the children of Israel. When they came out of the land of Egypt and they were going to the promised land, there was a Red Sea before them. And because of that Red Sea, they began to cry. And then they said, What are we going to do? And then the Lord showed Moses what to do stretch the rod, and the Red Sea parted for them. What the Lord is saying here is that as a wait upon the Lord, you will not even need to divide the Red Sea. 
you will fly over your Red Sea. There are many people that have mountains before them. And the mountains before them, they keep on praying. They need a dynamite. They need an explosive so that that dynamite or explosive will blow up the mountain. And when the mountain is blown up or there is a tunnel through the mountain, they are able to go through what the Lord is saying is this. That the pilot of an aeroplane does not need to wait for a dynamite, for an explosive to blow up and destroy any mountain. The pilot of the aeroplane flies over the mountain. You'll fly over your mountain. That means now, enemies on the ground that are which you war, and you're thinking, how do I have ammunition to conquer them and to overcome them? The Lord says, you don't need that now. They that wait upon the Lord shall so renew their strength that they'll mount up as eagles. You will fly over all those enemies in Jesus' name. While those enemies are in the valley, those enemies on the land, and they want to fight you, combat, hand to hand, com uh, combat, you are now above them. You fly above them. They will, you know, sometimes when an aeroplane takes off, you see it. It's going and going. All of a sudden, it's out of sight. You get my point? I said it is out of sight. And then, when you look through the window of the aeroplane, as you look down, while you are getting up and getting up, the enemies, they become smaller and smaller. And when you get to the top over there, you cannot even see them anymore. They become so minimized. And they become so small. Because of your height, you cannot see them. What the Lord here is saying is that they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They will mount up, up, help me, up. Help me up. You mount up so much. You cannot even see the enemies on the ground anymore. They become non-entities. They become non-existent. And whatever they have in hand, as they shoot, it never reaches you. The light time of a soaring eagle. That power to soar. That attribute to soar. And that thing within you. That the, Lord, the renewer. God will put within you. That you will soar. It is this morning. Because they. That wait. Upon the Lord. Shall renew their strength. They. Those people. Who wait upon the Lord, they will mount up with wings as eagles. Now, you will run and not be weary. You will run and not be weary. I run a little, I get tired, I want to sit down. It's like I'm fainting. Today, all that is over. I walk here and there and it's like I am panting. Give me some fresh air there. Blow it on me. Don't let me die. That spirit of death, I cancel you in Jesus' name. Life is beginning today. I said life is beginning today. Renewed life. Resurrection life. Restored life. The life of an eagle is beginning in your life today in Jesus' name. 
you will run, you will not be weary. You will walk and you will not faint. Every load, every chain, every string, every cord, every curse that ties you down. Tie your leg, tie your wings that you cannot move up. We're going to cut that chain this morning. He will set you free. He will set you free. You will mount up with wings as eagles in Jesus' name. You know, sometimes, uh, are you in a hurry? Sometimes. You see these uh, aeroplanes, you see one there, you see another one there. It's like they are demonstrating their dexterity, their ability. Their skill side by side and they're flying and flying and then they circle and they go i see husband and wife i see eagle and eagle together side by side and you're flying up and then we see you as the lord is promoting the husband the lord is promoting the wife impossibilities are cancelled in jesus name Something is happening. That thing that kept you down. That thing that held you down. That thing that made a heavy load upon your life. I see, I will never get up from there. Don't say that again. The situation has changed now. The circumstances have changed now. We're mounting up. I said we're mounting up. I am mounting up. It is so in Jesus' name. The life of a soaring eagle. How many points do I have today? One, two, three. After that three, on your search, mark, go. You'll get there. Number one, number one, the transformation of a symbolic eagle. The transformation of a symbolic eagle. You see, the eagle here is a symbol for the believer. The eagle here is a symbol for the Christian. The eagle here is a symbol for members of the body of Christ. The eagle here is a symbol for a person praying and waiting upon the Lord. A symbolic eagle. The transformation of a symbolic eagle. Number two, the training of a strengthened eagle. The training God gives us as the mother bird gives the training to the eaglets is to train us make us strong make us go up make us go higher and higher and higher that's why the lord has brought you here he wants to train you up he wants to train your life he wants to change your life and when you go through this training you will be up you'll never come down the training of a strengthened eagle. Number three, the triumph of a soaring eagle. The triumph of a soaring eagle. I see success before you. I see triumph before you. If you believe, my brother, you'll see the glory of God. If you believe this morning, my sister there, you will see the glory of God. The past is gone. The present is renewed. The future is going to be brighter. The triumph of a soaring eagle, number one. What's number one again? The transformation of the symbolic eagle Let, let's come to psalm 103 psalm 103 and i'm reading from verse 1 
bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget not, how many? All his benefits. Multiple benefits are coming upon your life. Every day will have its own promise. Every day will have its own fulfillment. Every day will have its own blessing and benefit. You will not forget. Verse 3. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? How many? All thine iniquities. And this was even before Calvary. You know, there are some Christians, they think that God has forgiven the small, minor, little, common, ordinary sins. But they have something in their mind that's a particular one. They judge to be big, to be great. They say it was not an ordinary sin. They say it was a transgression. They say it was an iniquity. They say it was a great evil. They say, what am I saying? It is a crime. And so that is in their mind. They think all the other little, little sins, error, mistake, all those ones have been forgiven. But this big one, this crime, this iniquity has not been forgiven. I come to tell you from the word of God, Calvary has settled all your accounts. And the moment you look at Jesus Christ, you can say, praise the Lord, he has forgiven all my iniquities. You believe it, it is so in Jesus' name. And then it says, who healeth? Tell me. Who healeth? Tell me. All thy what? Diseases. Again, there are some people, if they have headache, they say, Oh God, heal me. I believe, I believe, headache is gone. If they have a little stomach a problem, Oh Lord, heal me. They believe. It's like it is not. But they say, there are some kinds of sicknesses and these sicknesses HIV AIDS this one is serious or cancer this one is serious or it may be tuberculosis hepatitis whatever this is serious come back here who forgiveth how many iniquities all thine iniquities and who healeth tell me all thy diseases it has happened I said it has happened in one of the countries I went recently there was a one of the people around me when I say around me they chose him to you know Help this way, help that way as a worker. But he had a problem. And this problem, HIV AIDS. And that had disturbed him. He wanted to get married. Eventually, uh, you know, to foster to the wife. And uh, when they knew that there was HIV AIDS, said, no, 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 it cannot happen. And eventually, you know, he was in the church and doing his duty. Only he has this, what did I call it? I can't hear you. I'm preaching. Preach, talk. What did I call it? Aha, uh -huh, now you have the preacher's voice. HIV AIDS. Saturday morning, we had a meeting. And then I said, with God, all things are possible. And then I said, if you have a deadly disease, not ordinary, not common, not little, deadly, the one they told you will kill you very soon. 
raise up your hand i'm going to pray for you and uh, even though he was standing there at attention because he was in service he raised up his hand and then we prayed after we prayed i didn't see him he sneaked out he went immediately to the hospital he said i need another medical test Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. It's like you know what is coming. They tested him. They said, Come back for the result on, I think, Monday. And he went for the result on Monday. 100% healing. 100% kill. All the HIV AIDS had gone away. I come to tell you this morning what the Lord did for him, what the Lord did for them is now at your doorstep. Because he is a God, he healeth all thy diseases. You are healed in Jesus' name. The transformation of your body, the transformation of your brain, the transformation of your career the transformation of your spirit the transformation of your soul the transformation of a symbolic ego he will do it for you all those sicknesses you receive this morning the healing and the cure the deliverance in jesus name verse 4 who redeemeth thy life from destruction destruction in the day is gone destruction in the dream is gone destruction from the demons is gone destruction from the devil is gone destruction from the consequence of what you did in the past this morning is cancelled in Jesus name he redeemeth thy life from destruction. Who crowneth thee? You are wearing a crown. Who crowneth thee? I said you are wearing a crown. You may not see the crown. Satan will see the crown. Your enemies will see the crown. You are now a king. And you have crown on your head. And you go about like a king, not like the poor fellow, the prisoner that we knew before. Something has happened already. And when you speak, it's the word of a king. When you talk, it is the utterance of a king. Authority will go back home with you. He crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Mercies will surround you. Love will surround you. Helpers will surround you. The people that will lift you up, that will support you, they will surround you in Jesus' name. You will never lack help. You will never lack support. Because there is a renewal for this symbolic eagle. Look at verse 5. Who satisfies thy mouth with? It satisfies your mouth with. It satisfies my mouth. Say that. With what? Good things. So that the youth is renewed like the eagles. The youth is renewed like the eagles all those weaknesses of old age i cancel from your life in jesus name you are 50 and your body is like you are 80 all the weaknesses coming upon your life i cancel them in jesus name a renewal a renewal of every cell in your body a renewal of every bone in your body a renewal of every cell in your brain somebody said 
I'm just 37, but I don't remember six anymore. I hardly remember the name of so and so or where I put this or where I put that. It's like even though I'm 37, I forget like I'm already 80. I cancel that now. The wisdom to remember. The life of real active remembrance. I transfer to you now in Jesus' name. Because now your life is renewed. New strength. New ability. A new understanding. The Lord put upon your life in Jesus' name. You know, sometimes when you are reading and you try, you said, I'm going to read 10 pages of this book. You read page one. And then as you're reading page two, it's like your eyes are tired. Your mind is tired. Your brain is tired. And then you say, I wanted to read 10 pages and just on page two, everything is tired. And then you close the book. You say, looks like I don't know that you know I become so old. I don't know how to read again. I close the book, open that book again. I said, open that book again. All the books of activity and the books of progress and the books of vision and the books of flying beyond the ordinary that you think I cannot, I cannot, and you have closed it, open that book again. Because now we are getting started. Now you are getting started. A new thing will happen in your life in Jesus' name. Because he renews your youth like the life of the eagle. It will happen in Jesus' name. Renewal. I say renewal. It will renew everything in your life in Jesus' name. Do you know that tomorrow will be better than yesterday? Do you know that this year will be better than last year? Do you know that after this renewal, your life will be better than it was any other time in Jesus' name? You know, somebody said, the good old days. I say, the better new days days good old days thank god for them but something greater something better something higher because there's a renewal in the life of every eagle and because of that renewal something better has come in your life ezekiel chapter 36 ezekiel chapter 36 verse 11 and I will multiply upon you man and beast. Ah, you miss something out there. And they shall increase and bring fruit. And I will settle you. God says, I will settle you. Your life is not settled. Wait, I will settle you. Your marriage is not settled. Wait, I will settle you. Your career is not settled, it's coming. I will settle you. It's like there is confusion all around you. I am not settled about this, I'm not settled about that, I'm not settled about that. The Lord said, He has come now. Today is the day of your appointment. I will settle you. You are settled in Jesus' name. I will do. What's that? I will do. What's this? Who is this? I said, Who is this? And I will do better unto you than at your beginning. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. You will know that He is the Lord who comes to renew your life. Everything negative. They're taking away in Jesus' name. 
He will renew you and you'll become better in Jesus' name. Transformation. 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 Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a dead sacrifice, a disease sacrifice, a sick sacrifice, a weak sacrifice, an oppressed sacrifice, a Satan controlled sacrifice. When you bring your body to God, any sacrifice you are bring to bring it to God Satan has no claim on that sacrifice I said Satan has no claim on that sacrifice demons have no claim on that sacrifice you bring your body to God you say Satan get out of the way demons get out of the way they sacrifice this body it's a living sacrifice. Satan will not touch it again. Demons will not touch it again. You are presenting it to God. A living sacrifice. Holy. Acceptable unto God. Which is your reasonable service. It will renew your eyes. It will renew your ears. It renews your muscles. He renews your backbone. He renews every part of you so that you can present something holy, something complete, something pure, and something transformed unto the Lord. That's your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world. And be not conformed to this world. What does that mean? You know, some people, they have a limited understanding. Be not conformed to this world. It means your language will not be the language of the world. Your thinking will not be the thinking of the world. Your aspiration will not be the aspiration of the world. And tradition of the world will not be upon you in Jesus' name. The superstition of the world that if you go this way, if you knock, let, knock your left leg on the stone, it means bad luck is coming. Bad luck has gone forever and ever. The superstition of the world, they will not be upon you in Jesus' name. If you are going on a new business, on a new enterprise, and somebody gives you a particular material, in the world, the interpretation is, as you see that, it means you will not succeed. That's the world. You will not accept the policy of the world in your life anymore in Jesus' name. They say that if you had a dream and you saw old classmates, if you have a dream and you saw your papa, your mama that died some years ago, they say that means that they are inviting you, they are saying, pack your load, your time is about ready. That's how the world talks. And then they rise up after that dream and they're going about, they say, I am dying, I am dying. How do you know? I saw my papa who died. I saw my mama who died. That's how they think in the world, be not conformed to this world. I will not die. No matter who I see in the day, in the night, in the dream, I am not dying yet. How about you? You will not think like the world. You wake up, that's just a dream. It has nothing concerning you. The promise of God is greater than the dream of the night. The, 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 the prophecy concerning you God will fulfill everything he has appointed for you. Before you leave this world, you are not going yet. I said you are not going yet. 
don't talk like the world don't look like the world don't seek like the world don't accept the thing that the what the people are saying you are transformed your brain is transformed your mind is transformed your thinking is transformed your outlook is transformed now you are going up i said you are going up the transformation the transformation of the symbolic ego and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of what of your mind that she may prove what is that good and acceptable and the perfect will of god perfect will of god will be fulfilled in your life point number two the training of a strengthened eagle the training of a strengthened eagle why does the mother eagle train the little eaglets let me show you in job chapter 17 job chapter 17 i'm reading from verse 9 job chapter 17 we're reading from verse 9. You'll see the reason why the mother eagle trays the little eaglets. Verse 9. The righteous, who is that? The righteous, who is he? The one who has been washed and cleansed by the blood of the Lamb. You have made the great exchange. You have given your sin to Jesus. And Jesus has given you his righteousness. He puts righteousness in your soul. Righteousness in your spirit. Righteousness upon you. So that when heaven sees you, heaven will see the righteousness of Christ in you. And it's not theoretical, practical. Your life will be righteous in Jesus' name. The righteous also shall hold on his way. And he that is clean of hands shall be, tell me. He that is clean, has clean hands shall be stronger and stronger. The purpose of training, the reason why the mother eagle will train those little, little eagles is to make them stronger and stronger. Stronger and stronger. Stronger and stronger. You will not be weaker and weaker. You will not be lower and lower. You'll be stronger and stronger in Jesus' name. How does that happen? Through the training of an eagle that is being strengthened day after day. And let us look at, to start with, you know, if there's any training, I don't know if you happen to be a trainer. If you happen to be a coach, if you happen to be a teacher, if you happen to be somebody training another person, there's something important about training. You have a goal. Therefore, you have a scheme in the training. And you say, I am training this person to achieve this, to become this, to get to this level any area of training there's a scheme for the training the same thing as god is training you he has a goal he has a scheme if you remain in that training god is a successful trainer he will not fail he will train you to become who he wants you to become did you hear that he will train you to become who he has ordained and planned that you will become. You'll become it in Jesus' name. That's the goal for the trainer. And there is the achievement card, achievement level for the person we're training. Jeremiah chapter 29. Jeremiah chapter 29. We're reading from verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you. 
that's the planner of your training scheme that's your coach that's the creator that's the almighty god who brought you into this world number one and he brought you into the kingdom number two and he says i have a goal i have a purpose i have a reason for bringing you into the kingdom and i have something i want to see from this life nobody will take your place i said nobody will take your place that place he has ordained for you he will train you for it that's why you have the training of the strengthened ego it says for i know the thoughts that i think towards you says the lord thoughts of peace and not of evil tell me the rest to give you an expected end there is a goal for the training now the student may not see the scheme of training and the final outcome but the lecturer the professor he knows that and you may not see the goal but god knows that and god will train you to fit into what the lord has ordained for you in jesus name think about joseph many times when you read the life of joseph he had a dream that dream was the revelation of where god was taking him he was going to be a prime minister somewhere he didn't know and then the brothers they hated him and they sold him into egypt it was step one of his training he lived in the house of potiphar to learn management to learn administration and potiphar was an officer of the king how the officers of kings how they behave he launched that day it was the next stage of his training and then a lie was told against him and so when he finished in the potiphar he was transferred to the prison it was the next stage of the training he didn't know it was training but he was coming nearer and nearer to the expected end you are coming nearer yeah. all the things that are happening to you training is not something you enjoy every time the time of enjoyment is still coming i said it's still coming look at those uh, people that play games either they are playing game of punching a bag or they are playing game of kicking a ball or they are playing a game of wrestling or they are playing a game of running it's not easy but the reward the award will come after the training and so for joseph he saw these two people their dreams and then he saw them sad and he said why are you sad you know the story he interpreted the dream for them and he told one of them remember me that one went and did not remember him is part of the training god will not graduate you into unemployment in jesus name if that man has spoken to pharaoh about each about uh, joseph before pharaoh had his dream joseph could have been delivered and released from the prison but he will be released into unemployment that's not the will of god for you that's not the will of god for me anybody there that's not the will of god for me and so two years after at the appropriate time god will not fail you your time will not pass you every step of your way at the appropriate time every mark in your life at the appropriate time every call in your life at the appropriate time pharaoh had a dream and then there was nobody to interpret the dream when you are the person 
to interpret, nobody else will be available. When you are the God has been training you, He has trained you now. You have to come and assume your post and your place and your position. They will not find another person to replace you at that time in Jesus' name. And the man said, I remember my fault today. There is a man in the prison. We had dreams. He interpreted for go and call him. And they called him there. He interpreted the dream. And then Pharaoh said, You are the man we're looking for. The nation will look for you. I said, The nation will look for you. Eventually, his brothers came. Wanting food, and what did they do? They fell on the ground before him. Was his dream fulfilled? Was his dream fulfilled? How? Because he went through the training. Everything happening to you is a training for you. You will get there. Don't quit the school of your training. Don't quit. When things appear tough, it's your training, and you are soon getting there. Now, see all that Joseph had gone through from his father's house all the way with the Ishmaelites onto Egypt, all the way to Potiphar's house, all the way to the prison. Watch if one month before the two years, before two years ended, one month before Pharaoh had his dream. What if Joseph just sat down and started thinking, what is all this? What have I done? I've lived my life in righteousness. I refuse to sin because I believe God was going to do something in my life. And then I've gone through, and if he started recounting, I've not seen my father now for these many years. And I've not seen this for these many years. And then if he gave up, just one month before the fulfillment, you will not give up. I said you will not give up. All those things that are happening, they are for your good and they will turn out right in your life in Jesus' name. Romans chapter 8 verse 28. Romans chapter 8. I'm reading from verse 28 and we know, you will know. And we know, I said you will know. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. I love God. I said I love God. Anybody there, do you love God? All things will work together for good for you. Dry your tears. You are in a training school. All those things happening, they are to train you up. And it's preparing you for the place where you will be. Because we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are the called according to his purpose. And the purpose of your calling, the Lord will fulfill. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Reading from verse 11. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 11. The training of a strengthened eagle. As an eagle stareth up her nest, fluttereth over her young, spreadeth abroad her wings, and taketh them, and beareth them on her wings. So the Lord alone did lead him. And there was no strange God with him. You see verse 11 there. The eagle will go to a high mountain. In teaching the young eagles to fly. It will stir up the net. Trouble the net. And then one of the eaglets will fall out of the net. And as that eaglet is going down. The eagle is saying indirectly, open your wings. You can fly. And then before that little eaglet hits the ground, 
the big eagle will dive under that little eaglet and carry it and take it back to the nest. The following day, he will start up the nest again. And that little, little eaglet will fall out of the nest. And while it's going down, the big eaglet will go there again before it hits the ground. And then, in the process of training that way, that little eaglet will know how to fly. You will know how to fly. You will stretch those wings in Jesus' name. The wings of prayer and faith. They become useful. They become profitable. You will not die. You will not hit the ground. Before you hit the ground, the big wings of the Almighty will carry you in Jesus' name. Deuteronomy chapter 8. Deuteronomy chapter 8. The training that the Lord gave to the children of Israel and the training that is given unto us. In the Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 2. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee forty years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee and to know what is in thy heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no. And he humbled thee. That's your training. And he suffered, permitted thee to hunger. That's your training. And he led thee, and he fed thee with manna, angels' food. He will give you food from heaven. Which thou knewest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee to know that man does not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God does man live. That's why he's training you. You will not abscond. You will not run away from the training of the Lord in Jesus' name. And as you go through the training every day, you'll be stronger and stronger. Stronger and stronger. Better and better. Higher and higher in Jesus' name. Point number three. The triumph of the soaring eagle. The victory of the soaring eagle. The upliftment of the soaring eagle. Look up here for a moment. You will not find any little eaglet that will be of the same strength low like that of a dog. Or like that of a, of, a, of a head. Because the eaglet is meant for the sky. It's not meant for the community. Just picking something on the ground. And you, an eaglet of the Lord. An eagle in the kingdom. You are not meant for the valley. You are meant for the top of the mountain. And... You will not disappoint God in Jesus' name. On the side of God, He will not disappoint you. He will train you. You will become what He has called you to become. But remain faithful. The top of the mountain is your destination. High up in heaven is your destination. It will happen. High place. High place, high place will be yours in Jesus' name. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 13. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 13. The trial of the soaring eagle. He made him ride on the high places of the earth. Who is that? He made you. To ride on the high places of the earth. That ye might eat the increase of the fields. You will not lack. And he made him to suck honey out of the rock. And oil out of the flinty rock. You will have the increase of the earth. All the blessings of this earth 
blessings will flow through to your life in Jesus name Deuteronomy chapter 28 Deuteronomy chapter 28 here is your final story I said here is your final story and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord your God to observe and to do all these commandments which I command you this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth you see the eagle flies higher higher than any bird and they that wait upon the Lord shall mount up like eagles you will run you will not be weary you will walk and you will not fade have you ever seen any eagle flying, 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 all of a sudden that the eagle just dropped down because the eagle was tired? Have you seen that before? You see a wide ocean, a wide ocean from here, the shore here to the shore there, very, very far. And you see an eagle up there flying across, flying across, and he never, that eagle never drops down to be drowned. This world will not drown you. The challenges of this life as you are flying over, as you are crossing over, will not drown you in Jesus' name. Because the Lord has appointed that you will go through the high places of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Blessed shall thou be in the city. Blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body. And the fruit of thy ground. And the fruit of thy cattle. And the increase of thy kind. And the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in. And blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against you one way. They shall flee before you seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee. In thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thy hand unto and it shall bless thee the land which the, which the Lord thy God giveth thee the Lord shall establish you the Lord will establish you and holy people unto himself as see as sworn unto thee if thou keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways and all people how many people? Your family? The village? Your community? The people that say you became a Christian That something else will happen? They will see I said they will see And all people of the earth shall see That thou art called by the name of the Lord And they shall be afraid of you and the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods And in the fruit of thy body And in the fruit of thy cattle And in the fruit of thy ground In the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give unto thee The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure The heaven to give the rain unto thee in his season And to bless all the work of your hand and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. The Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. Thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If thou, if thou hearken unto the commandment of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them, you will fly high. What the Lord has said will come to pass in your life. He will not fail you. 
and you will not fail him. He's training you to be a real eagle flying high. And his covenant with you will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. In uh, Psalm 89, Psalm 89, verse 27, I will make him my son, my firstborn, higher than the kings of the earth. The Lord will make you higher than the people you know. Verse 34, my covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that has gone out of my lips. The Lord has a covenant with you right now. He's going to show you greater things, going to show you better things, going to make you stronger and stronger. They that wait upon the Lord, what happens? You renew your strength. You will mount up like the eagle. The time has now come. I said the time has now come. You will run. You will not be weary. You will walk. You will not faint. Fainting time is over. Time of weariness, that's over. Time of discouragement, that's over. Time of failure, that's over. Rise up now and soar. Rise up now and begin to soar. Your future is bright. Your future is bright. Something better, something greater, something higher is waiting for you. The lifetime of a soaring eagle. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. Believe his promise for you. Believe his calling for you. Believe his appointment for your life. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. You have come this weekend waiting upon the Lord. It's now time to rise up and shine. Time to rise up and fly over the Red Sea, over River Jordan, over the mountain. Go higher. Go higher. Go higher. And remember, all the things happening to you are just for your training. All things will work together for you because you love God and because you are called according to His purpose. Remember, your life is renewed. No place for sickness in your life. No place for infirmity in your life. No place for failure in your life. No place for discouragement in your life. No place for attack. No place for affliction. No place for failure. Higher and higher you'll go. Better and better you'll become. Stronger and stronger you will be. Believe the Lord has been talking about you. Believe. You are that symbolic eagle. You are that eagle becoming stronger and stronger. You are destined to be the soaring eagle. Destined to be the soaring eagle.
In Jesus' name we pray. Every promise you have heard this weekend will be fulfilled in your life. Every characteristic of the soaring eagle that you have heard about will be fulfilled in your life in Jesus' name. Whatever your past has been, if it was good, your future will be better. If it was bad, your future will be different. For your personal life, for your domestic family life, for your spiritual life, for your professional life, the way is now cleared before you. All the thorns and the thistles that the devil surrounded you with, that you couldn't move forward, they are cleared out of the way. Now you think the thoughts of God concerning you. Your expected end is not failure. Your expected end is not sorrow. Your expected end is not defeat. Your expected end is not premature death. Your expected end is soaring like an eagle. Where is he? Where is she? Soaring like an eagle. We caught all the chains that tie you down. All the sorrow, all the thoughts that make you looking back every time we caught you from that in Jesus' name. Egypt will not hold you down. Babylon will not hold you down. The world will not hold you down. You have escaped from their cage. Healing is yours. Success is yours. Promotion is yours. Happiness is yours. That dream of a good future, better future, dreaming, 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 fulfillment has come in Jesus' name. Your wife will give you joy. Your husband will give you joy. Your children will give you joy. This family is not barren anymore. All your desires of baby miracle children, God has answered in Jesus' name. Your eyes will not be dim. Your eyes will not be blind. Arthritis will not keep you down in the house. Arthritis will leave your body. You will use your leg. You will use your eyes. You will use your ears. And the road that is clear before you now, in the strength of the Lord, in the might of the Lord, you will walk majestically into victory in Jesus' name. Pain, no more. Sickness, no more. Infirmity, no more. Premature death, no more. Accidents, no more. Crying, 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 crying has come to an end. Joy and laughter in your life. Prosperity and goodness in your life. Who am I talking about? Wonderful. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because today all those negative things, they are changed in Jesus' name. Any sickness there, in the eye, in the ear, in the tummy, in the blood, in the bone, any part of your body, I command that sickness, come out in Jesus' name. 
all the bandage of the devil all the chain of the devil all the cords of the devil that tied you down to the past as daddy was so i am as mommy was so i am and all the cause generational cause of forefather forefather i clear everything away out of your sight rise up and be free in jesus name all the mentality of they fail because of that i'm going to fail they didn't succeed therefore i cannot succeed all that mentality of the world all the tradition of the world all this position of the world i command you get out in jesus name lord i pray power will remain will, will replace sickness authority will remain will, will replace defeat dominion will replace defeat in jesus name Lord, everything that was set back before, I cancel it right now. Everything that was so demonic before, I cancel it right now. All the curse and all the yoke in your life, I break everything in Jesus' name. The name of the Lord sets you free. The blood of Jesus sets you free. The word of God sets you free. The spirit of the living God sets you free. Be free. Be free. Rise up and mount up in Jesus' name. From the top of your head to the tip of your toe, I pray that the anointing will flow. Every yoke will be broken. Go home now and go and succeed. Go home now and go and be productive. Go home now and go and be prospered. Go home now and go and soar and go beyond your expectation. As you go, there'll be a fulfillment in your life. As you go, there'll be a realization in your life. The people will see that you are no more bound, that you are free. Everybody around you will see that you are not a struggling eagle. You are a soaring eagle. No mountain will hinder you. No river will hinder you. No enemy will hinder you. Be triumphant. Be an overcomer. Go and be more than a conqueror. From today, greater is sea that lives in you than that who is in the world. When you come back, come back with your testimony. Lord, we thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray.